Welcome to the channel, everybody. Thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Infinity Focus and looking at different techniques to see which one gives us the sharpest results. Let's run the intro. So have you ever wanted to take a photo or video and you needed everything in focus as sharp as it can be from the foreground element to the background element? Well, that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're heading off now to the local hills here, which is a few miles away where we get uninterrupted views of the surrounding area. And we're gonna be putting different methods to the test to find out which one really does give us the best results. So let's start heading off and finding out the answers. So like I say, we're gonna be looking at infinity focus today on your camera, testing a few different methods and seeing which result gives you the sharpest results. Um, now I usually use this method. What I do is I focus, I manually focus on the furthest object I can see in the scene uh, at the lens's sharpest aperture. And that usually gives me a very consistent sharp image through the range. Uh, now there's a, a few other techniques that I've heard of focusing a third of the way up at the lens's sharpest uh, aperture. Another way is the same, focusing a third of the way up with the aperture wide open. And the fourth way that I've heard of is just letting the autofocus on your camera do the job. Apparently it can do a better job than what we can manually. So we're gonna be testing out all these and looking which one really does give us the sharpest results. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to be using a tripod with the camera set up on top. Stabilisation is off and we'll be using a two second timer. For anybody that's interested, I'm using the Sony 6600 with the Sigma 30mm f1.4, an extremely sharp lens, one of the sharpest you can get for your Sony ASPC cameras. I'll quickly run you through again uh, the four ways we're going to be testing infinity focus and the methods I'm using. So the first way we'll be testing is using a zoom assist with manual focused on the furthest object in the scene at the lens's sharpest aperture which is f8. I'll be using these tower blocks approximately three miles away as my object of focus. The second way we'll be testing is again using the zoom assist to manually focus one third of the way up in the scene at the lens's sharpest aperture, again f8, and we'll use this bush to focus in on. The third way we're going to be doing this is exactly the same as previously, but we'll be using the highest aperture, which is f16 on this lens. And finally, we'll be using the camera's autofocus, letting it decide where it wants to focus. And yeah, we'll see how that one comes out. Okay, let's get these shots and see which one really does focus to infinity. So I've got all four shots now. Uh, what we're gonna do is head off home now, have a look at them close up on the computer. Let's pack the stuff up and get home and have a look. So, okay, we've got our four images. Um, we've got the autofocus, the focus third of the way up at F8, third of the way up F16, and then focusing on the furthest object. Uh, I'm going to start with the autofocus one just so we get a rough idea what we're looking at. And I'm going to use EarFan Viewer. If you're not sure what this is, a really good viewer for viewing photos. I'll link it in the description. And we're going to have a look at autofocus. Let's have a look at this right now. Okay, um, my initial thoughts are it looks like it's very soft. And I believe, let's go to 100%. Yeah, that is not good. I believe that the autofocus has missed. And that image is absolutely shocking. Um, yeah, really, <laughs> that goes to show you. Let me just open up um, a third of the way up with the viewer and we'll compare that with the um, autofocus one. So that's autofocus. 
and that's a third of the way up. You can see that the autofocus one has misfocused and everything is soft. Don't think there's even one part of that that is in focus. That is a real shame. And that goes to show you, if you really do need um, a sharp image, not to rely on your autofocus on your camera. So unfortunately, I only did get one on with autofocus. And as you can see, it's ruined. Anyway, let's have a look at the next uh, one, which is one of the third of the way up, focusing one third of the way up at F8. Well, again, we're going to use if and viewer. And instantly, look at the sharpness of that. That looks really good. Uh, let's let's go to 100% though and have a look through the image. Now, we're focusing on this bush here. This is where we are focusing on. And that looks pin sharp to me. And let's have a look down here at the bottom. To my eye, that looks really sharp. I'm just going to raise it up. And look through the whole image. Let's zoom in a bit more on them towers in the background. And yeah, this is really, really sharp. So this is a F8 focusing one third of the way up, which was this bush here. And the whole image appears to be as sharp, even down here at the front. That looks sharp as anything. So very happy with the results there of that one. Let me just lower that back down and have a look at it normally. Let's compare that one against the... Um, we're focusing one third up at F16. So let's have a look at this one. And again, that looks straight away pin sharp again. Doesn't look... We're going to have to do some pixel peeping to really see the difference here between them. Let's raise this up to 100%. Let's get this one to 100% and see which one, compare them side by side, see which one's the sharpest. Now, this is our one th focusing one third up at F8. And I'm just looking down here at this grass area on both the images. And if there is any difference, it's very hard to see. In fact, I cannot see any difference between them there. It doesn't appear to be. Let's go a little bit further up and have a little look at the roofs. And again, if there is any difference, it's very, very minimal. I cannot see anything. Standing out. Let's have a look at the towers in the background. And maybe just a slight percentage sharper on the F-16. Just slightly on the towers in the background, I would say. But not much in it. Okay, so if we use this one so far, the F-16, as our best infinity focus that we have in a minute at the minute what we'll do we'll compare this one against the focus on the towers one so let's open this one up i'm not in the viewer we'll have a look at this straight away okay that looks very sharp straight off all the grass looks fine bush looks fine through the scene looks fine and because we're focusing on this tower here in the background I'm sure it's going to be fine over there as well. But let's zoom in 100% and check it really out. Let's have a look at the grass at the bottom. Yep, that looks pin sharp. The bush that we didn't focus on is still sharp. All these twigs and bushes are really sharp. The houses look fine. And the towers, because we're focusing on, I believe it's this tower here, that is absolutely pin sharp. Let's uh, compare it though to the F16 one. And let's see at the bottom of the, the grass first. Let's get the grass in the shot.
Okay, um, this is the F-16 focusing one third of the way up on this bush here. And the uh, focusing on the tower one over here, the F-8, this grass is definitely sharper. And in fact, all these twigs and trees are sharper than the F-16. Let's move it up a little bit though and look through the image. And yet, uh, this image here is sharper. The, uh, I'm not too sure if YouTube's probably compressing this or not, but hopefully you can see the roofs are definitely sharper in this image. Um, a little bit more detail there. This is just slightly soft, even though it appeared to be sh very sharp. This is definitely sharper. Let's have a look at the towers in the background. And like I say, they're pin sharp because we focused on this tower here in the background. That is pin sharp. Let's just compare it to that one. And yeah, there's definitely a little bit, you can see a little bit more detail. It's very minimal, but there's definitely more detail in this image compared to this image, which was our second sharpest. So focusing on this tower in the background has given us the best results. This one, wins the sharpest out of the th four um, photos we captured. And there we have it. By focusing on the furthest object in our scene, using the sharpest aperture of our lens, we managed to get the best infinity focus from this lens. Uh, everything was in focus from the foreground to the background and very sharp throughout the whole image. Now, I'm not sure why my autofocus image missed. I am guessing, because I was on a timer, that maybe as I press focus, a bird flew through the shot and the camera picked up on that. But that's one of the problems, trust in the autofocus of the camera. You can never be 100% sure what it's gonna focus on. So if you're taking a very, very important shot or you're trying to get the sharpest image possible, don't rely on the camera's autofocus system. Looking at the two images that we captured focusing one third up into the shot. Both were very, very good, uh, very sharp throughout the range, but just pipped at the post by the focusing on the object in the background that come out on top. Um, we did have to pixel peep a, a little bit there, but if you truly want the sharpest, that's the way to go. Most people probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you're focusing one third up, but there we go. By using that sharpest aperture of your lens. If you're unsure what your sharpest aperture of your lens is, it's usually about midpoint through the aperture range. Normally a number between f8 and f11, that's a good start in place, and that's gonna give you really good results. Use your camera's focus assist in manual focus to really um, isolate the subject in the background that you want to be in focus, and that's gonna give you the sharpest image. So that's going to bring this video to an end. I hope you've really enjoyed it and you've gained something from it. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below. I do read all my uh, comments. And if you want to see further videos from myself, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We'll catch up in the next video.